Hi, my name's Scott, and today I'm going to uh, give my review of the Fujitsu Wired Remote Controller. Uh, this uh, currently is their top-of-the-line controller and uh, has all the functions that you would expect for this variable speed system. So first up, um, I actually think it looks really nice. When I saw the photos of it online, I wasn't too impressed, but seeing it in person, um, it's quite nice. And you can see that it's sort of white and gray, which happens to go well with our color scheme. Um, and you know, uh, it's, it's quite a big unit, actually. It's almost five inches by five inches square. I happen to prefer the larger uh, thermostats uh, because, <laughs> it, you know, at least in the US, if you take off your old thermostat, um, you're probably going to have a mess in the wall behind. So it's nice to have something that's going to cover that. So uh, initial impressions, it's nice. Um, the one big drawback that I think it has is that the screen is not super legible. Um, it's not terrible, but it's, it, could be, it could definitely be better. Uh, the background of the display itself is quite dark, so the contrast isn't great. It does improve with the backlight on, though, so that definitely helps. But if I compare it to my previous controller, which I think is a fantastic, albeit simple one, you can see that even with the backlight off, there's, there's quite a difference. Um, this was easy to read from, from a distance, and with the backlight on, um, it's, even, it's even more legible. So anyway, one thing I should point out, um, this is not a Wi-Fi controller. Uh, with Fujitsu, none of the remote controllers, as this is called, none of them have Wi-Fi built in. There's a separate Wi-Fi module that's available. So um, this is not inherently smart. It's reasonably clever, but it's not a smart Wi-Fi uh, capable uh, product in its own right. I'm using this with a ducted mini split system. So it's slightly different from the more uh, common uh, ductless uh, mini splits. Okay, so uh, one of the key things to note here is that with any of the uh, wired remote controllers, you've got a choice of where the temperature is sensed, uh, either in the air handler itself, which is the default mode, or in the room uh, instead, which means the temperature here at the controller. So that's a setting that you can choose. And this display is always the bigger number is the set temperature, it's not the room temperature. And so in this case, uh, I have the room temperature displayed. Again, that's not on by default, um, but I'm not using the wired remote controller as the temperature sensor. This is just for information only. I'm using the temperature sensor in the air handler. So you see that, you know, if I want to change that, I just click up, I click down, very simple. Um, I can change the mode. Um, there's heating, of course, and cooling. Uh, dry is for dehumidification. I live in Las Vegas, so that's not uh, necessary. And then if you just want to put it in fan mode, um, and just you know run the fan, but with no uh, cooling or heating, you can do that. Custom Auto uh, does need maybe a little bit of uh, explanation, but you do need to use the uh, temperature sensing on, on the controller instead of in the air handler. Um, but basically what it means is when you program the device, you can have a, a cooling temperature and a heating temperature. So if you live somewhere like Las Vegas or in the winter, it can be very cold in the morning, so you want heating on but it can get hot in the afternoon and you may want to use some cooling. That's what Custom Auto, custom auto uh, is for. Uh, so just one thing to show you is the fan speed. So you get uh, auto, which is the default, and actually what I leave it on most of the time. Quiet mode, low, medium, and high. But for best performance, just leave it on auto. One of the reasons I chose this Fujitsu system is because uh, you know, that ramps up and ramps down automatically, and it just makes for a very uh, comfortable environment. Instead of the swings of the on-off that you're used to with the traditional air conditioning system, this is fully variable speed, so it, it you know, it goes up and down um, according to need. So one of the most obvious things that makes it different from a traditional thermostat is there's an on-off button. Um, and when it's off, uh, it goes into unoccupied mode, um, which just means that, well, nothing, nothing runs. There is like some away settings and some uh, defrost mode settings, um, which I think can override this. Um, let's say you live in a very cold environment and you want the heating to come on to prevent anything in, inside freezing, uh, you know, pipes or whatever, um, then I think it can actually override um, off. So this is the standard display. Um, this is what you see most of the day. 
Um, there's also uh, various settings. There's a lot to this. So you can customize a lot of it. The most common feature, of course, is just the timer. And uh, there's basically two schedules that you can store in here. So you could have, um, you know, I don't know, like a regular schedule, schedule one. And then if you wanted, say, a different schedule, maybe if, um, I don't know, maybe if you're renting out your place and you wanted to have one setting for you and one setting for guests, you could do it with schedule one and schedule two. Uh, but in terms of actually programming the schedule, I uh, just go in here and you see that all seven days of the week are displayed. You can have multiple um, slots per day. Uh, I think it's, yeah, eight in total. You see here, I've got it coming on at 7.30, going off at five. Um, and I've set heat and cooling modes uh, combined here. Uh, but like the, the, the setting I showed you earlier, those will only come into play um, if you're actually on, uh, well, either you set it in cool mode or heat mode or you use custom auto. So it's pretty easy to program. You can have different settings for each day of the week. Um, it actually has a copy function, so you can copy and then paste your settings to other days of the week, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, that's it. It seems a little bit daunting at first, but I figured it out pretty, pretty fast. Um, there's some, you know, interesting quirky settings like a day off mode. Um, and I think some of these settings are really designed for commercial use instead of residential use. So let's say it was a holiday Monday coming up. You could check that box and that would just skip whatever's programmed for Monday, but just that one time in the coming week. Um, so interesting feature for home use, probably not uh, super useful. Um, in terms of preferences, uh, you can do things like adjust the backlight, how long it's on for, uh, 30 seconds or 60 seconds, the brightness level, one, two, or three. Um, you can also change the contrast. And so I mentioned this earlier, but this is my main bugbear of the Fujitsu. It's just kind of hard to read. Um, it's, it's fine with the backlight on, um, but it's, if you're walking past it and you want to see what's happening and the, 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 the backlight is off, it's just not, not that clear. You have to walk right up to it um, to see. I did notice in the manual, actually, uh, they give a credit to uh, Rico, R-I-C-O-H, R -I -C -O -H, uh, for the font used. <laughs> So I think this is actually a, uh, an LCD and a font that you might find in a photocopier. So that's where it's from. Um, initial settings, you can things like date and time, temperature units. Of course, you can switch it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, whichever your preference is. It does support a number of languages. I presume they have different options in different parts of the world um, as to what uh, is available. By the way, a lot of the settings are hidden behind a password, but I've disabled the password in most cases. You know, this is in, used in my home, so it really doesn't, uh, really don't need that. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I have recorded other videos about the Fujitsu system we have, um, and I record a lot of product reviews and uh, DIY projects as well. So if that's your thing, please subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please post them um, below, and I will respond. And uh, I'll just say goodbye from Prince. Thanks for watching.